hello in this video i will create backup of barracuda firewall and i will restore that backup that backup file is called par file so i have already mixed configured this firewall this is my windows server let's log in that's my firewall admin so i have already configured this firewall with the password one two three sign in So yeah, that's my firewall. If you go over here and we can see something like you know, my configuration, what I have changed. So first, let's go and see network. Here, if you see in network, I have configured a one LAN interface on Ethernet 2 with IP address 172.16.0.0. And in interfaces, if we go and we can see there is like a six interfaces. And the second is if you go assign services, forwarding rule. Okay. So I have configured uh, like one forwarding rule, and I have deleted all the default one. So there is there is only two uh, uh, rules as is here, new rule and block all. If you go on the control network and we see over here we can see like ethernet 2 has been configured so now i'm going to create the backup of this firewall and then i will restore to create a backup go to the configuration page configuration tree we have to take the backup of this box so right click on the box create a par file so this file is called the backup file create par file we can give it any name like okay let's give it a name today backup And I'm gonna save it on the desktop and the extension is gonna be dot par file. Save it. So the PR file has been configured. Okay, if I go on my desktop, I can see like this file has been created with the name today backup. So let's go. I'm gonna format my firewall, stop this firewall, wipe it. wipe it one more time so now i'm gonna uh, start this firewall again so it gonna restore with the default configuration like the password is gonna be the default password ngf one r3 wall but when i will t uh, restore this that par file the password will change i will see the, all these forwarding rules and all those things so let's close this one because the firewall is not working at all So the password was one two three. I'm gonna sign in again. It's not gonna work because the firewall hasn't started yet. It takes like two to four minutes just a firewall to restore restart. Yeah, it's still restarting. Okay, firewall has been restarted now. So let's go in the, okay, let's open it from the beginning. So last time when I log in, I logged in with the password one, two, three. Now let's log in. It's not gonna work because I have uh, wiped the firewall. All the configuration has been erased. So I'm not able to log in. So I have to log in with the default password. NGF1R3WALL sign in yeah now it is working so it is asking me to change the password old password is the same ngf 1r 3wall new password i'm going to use 1234 1234 okay 
password changed successfully so I have to log in back with a new password 1234 sign in don't so manage by firewall admin because it's the first time I'm logging to this firewall so that's why I, we are getting this notif notifications okay firewall has been okay so I just logged into the firewall now let's go and see first the uh, configurations before uh, we restore the uh, firewall so if you go on the uh, network we can see there is no LAN network or Ethernet 2 I have configured if you go on the interfaces there is only one interface if we the second change is what I made if you go on the assigned services firewall forwarding rules we will see all the default uh, default rule which comes with the firewall yeah that's all the default rule but in my far file there were only two rules so if you go on the control network we don't see any in, uh, in Ethernet interfaces enabled or any LAN network is configured. So now let's uh, restore the it. So go back to the configuration tree. Right click on the box. Last time we uh, selected this option create far file. So now we have to select this option restore from far file. Okay. We have to select this file today backup. Open. Okay. Box configuration restore. Okay, so after that we have to click on activate and activate it. If our firewall is connected with the cloud control, then this is the uh, another way. Like it, it, after restoring the, using that far file, it is uh, start communicating with the uh, CC cloud control. But this is our single box, so that's why I'm just taking restore over here only so okay so it has been restored now now let's go back to the control uh, still on the network we don't see anything we have to make, uh, act, uh, click on the box click we have to click on activate new network configuration fail safe click on network now Ethernet 2 has come up expand this one we can see our LAN network in here so if you go on the configuration we will see our the rules and the network so if you go on the network it's refreshing the page freeze because my computer is slow so okay let's close the program and we will reopen it again so it came back again so if you go on the network and we can see this all the six interfaces are here if you want the IP configuration we can see yeah, our LAN network has been come up now we have to check the forwarding rules there should be only two rules click on configuration tree double click on the forwarding rules and we can see only two rules are here yeah that's how we create the backup and restore it this is just the two steps so this is one more thing like if this firewall is connected with our cloud control so in case the firewall is disconnected from cloud control so what we do from the cloud control we create the, the same thing like we create the power file we then we take the console uh, uh, login locally to this firewall and we can restore that power file which we took from the cloud control over here and then it will start communicating with the cloud control and all the like feature uh, it, it will come back again so yeah everything is good now all working